All right. So as a part of this series, um, the word, we're covering all the aspects of KVAS, and one of the aspects is the K player. So we're going to try to understand this, how this can help your students, help your business, uh, and if it's right for you. So we have Jim on, uh, and Jim is going to talk us through some of his experience at using it with students uh, and how this can all work out. Jim, how's it going? Good, Cordy. How are you? Really good. So just in case people don't know who you are, uh, quick like 30 second background on your perspective, uh, what kind of students you work with, uh, that good stuff. Um, I'm a PJ professional in New Jersey. Uh, I've been a teaching pro for quite some time now. Um, I, you know, I, I work the gamut of student. You know, I have from the tour player, mini tour player, all the way down to the, uh, the junior golfer. I, I really enjoy working with uh, the better player. I have some really good collegiate players that I'm working with. Uh, one in particular right now that's going to try to make a go with the tour. We've had a lot of fun with him. Um, we've done a lot of work, uh, extensive work with him on K Vest and K Player. Uh, so much to the fact that his father actually bought him one for uh, Christmas. Um, so he and I will still be able to stay in contact when he's in Florida chasing his dream and I'm still here in New Jersey. So that'll be a story we'll talk about uh, later on in this interview, I guess, Cordy. Yeah, brilliant. You have a lot of a lot of case studies and a lot of stories to share. So that's why I'm excited about talking with you about this. Um, but first we need to get some like rudimentary understanding of, of why, why the K player and why you guys are doing this. So, um, if you could just walk us through some of this information, um, I'll interrupt when, when there's some questions and, and let's just go through it and start diving through this. Absolutely. Um, I, I guess the first thing you need to know, Cordy is, you know, what is KVEST? You know, KVEST is 3d motion capture. Um, we have a, a KVEST 7 system out right now. That's a four-sensor system. Uh, sensors go on the pelvis, the between the shoulder blades, the lead bicep, as well as the lead hand. Um, that's a system that we can collect a lot of data. We can collect golf swings and collect um, data of the three matrix, what the, the body's doing within the golf swing, rotations forward and backward, bends forward and backward, and side bends. Um, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to create an ecosystem where a golf professional or a teaching professional has the ability to earn more income without sacrificing uh, his time. Um, you know, we have gone through the thought process of, of what does it take to, um, to make more money in golf. And there's only a couple of ways that you can do. The historic methods are very simple. You know, you increase the number of lessons and, and or time that you spend on the range and at your facility, or you increase your lesson rate. So, you know, in, in my part of the country up in New Jersey, some of us are at the, the a rate that is about at the top of the market. You know, so how does that golf professional in, increase his income, increase his quality of life, you know, without changing his lesson rate or the amount of time he spends at the facility? So, you know, the guys at KVS put their minds to it and they decided that, you know, how do we how do we get them to be able to do that? And we came up with this kind of this ecosystem where we have the ability to do a couple different things with the player, um, you know, where we can earn extra money without spending more time raising our lesson rates and increases the quality of life. So the the whole the whole idea is, you know, um, What's the biggest factor of a golf professional in, in, in the business today is time. We work an exorbitant amount of hours. Um, met with a guy today who I spoke with about KVEST, and he says he's on his range 80-plus hours a week. Well, that's a lot of time to stand on your feet and be on the range. Um, you know, so there's some, there's some factors that we want to talk about. How do we make things, you know, how do we increase revenue and decrease time? You know, actually increase your hourly rate, I guess you would, you would say. So to me, the K player system or the K player thought process is the way to go. You know, if you have a K vest and you have one, two, three, multiple K players, you're basically creating your own coaching ecosystem. And there's a few things that we talk about um, as to what it is to create your own, you know, a coaching ecosystem. You know, there's, there's some things that you want to be able to do, you know, do you clone yourself? Do you go more to a coaching coaching method? Do you have the ability to have your players train without you being there? So those were some of the things that we we you know put our heads together and we came up with this this whole thought process and this this coaching program with with K player. 
Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I I run into this time and time again with people as they're as they're looking to get outside of raising rates or just working more hours, right? And so this is this is a massive problem. Uh, and most of most of the answers rely that we've talked about so far on getting people together in groups. And I think that's awesome. But I think even looking further to looking at how you can leverage technology, which is none of your time. Uh, has even greater potential. I, I agree 100%. Um, we've come up with five, you know, um, pretty easy business models that, that our, our folks can implement. Um, I can go over those five with you now. I mean, you can, you can get into rental opportunities where someone can rent out a K player to a student over the course of, oh, I don't know, a week, a month, a, you know, um, day to time, whatever you'd like to do. Um, also, we have what we call in cloning yourself, where your K player is basically um, doing your work for you while you're actually not with that player. Um, doing unsupervised training packages where a, a, a player can come into your facility. They can throw the K, K player on their, on their body, the pelvis and the, and the torso, and they can then just go train all by themselves, unsupervised, where there's no worries about... Um, you know, the instructor being there, you can do some at home training programs, um, where you have your student either rent or purchase. I've had many purchases of my students. They purchase a K player and you build them workout training programs to do at home. And as well as, you know, the only way you're going to train your players is if they are you know, within a few minutes of your facility. But what if we break down some geographical barriers where you can train your players that are all over the country? Um, so there's there's stories to be told about all of these and, and the way a instructor can basically enhance his teaching business without really committing a lot more time and effort to it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, I want to dive into some stories or, or maybe some, some concepts around uh, each of these Let's start with this concept of unsupervised training packages because I think that's interesting for a lot of people because because people are already doing supervised training, right? So what does unsupervised training look like? Well, I think the ability with the K player is you can build programs in your in the KVS software, send them to the K player. Uh, it's on either another laptop or another tablet and allow your students to come in, put the, the apparatus on, the, the, the two sensors on, and train all by themselves because there's a, there's a protocol of, of activities that are already built in there. You know, you, built, you build in, you know, whatever activity you're working on, whether it's a rotation activity, if it's an impact activity, uh, posture activity, whatever it might be, you build it, you set it up for the player, and he goes and trains all by himself. So, you know, for me, I've been doing this for a number of years now because I've owned a K vest for a long time. I also have a K, we used to call it a K trainer, which is also a two sensor system. And I've been doing it for quite some time. My player will come in. I have a collegiate player that we work uh, specifically on shoulder plane. He tends to get very flat. His arms get low. So then he has a two way miss. So we do a lot of unsupervised training with him. He'll come in three, four days a week for about 20 minutes and he'll throw the K vest on and he'll just do his shoulder plane program and then he'll leave. Uh, I never, you know, I, I don't have to work with him. I still, I, I still recoup, you know, uh, monies from him because he's using my technology. Uh, he's in my facility, um, but I don't have to spend any one-on-one -on -one time with him. I think that's the biggest thing in our industry that everything is just, you know, one-on-one -on -one training. How do we get away from that where we can increase our hourly rate and also increase the number of players that we uh, can help uh, on a daily basis. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And, you know, something when I talk to people is a lot of times people don't go for the lowest hanging fruit, right? So instead of going for something that's a simple sales process to go for, it, you know, like let's create a massive long-term program uh, and try to sell students into it. The problem is the sales process is really hard and intensive for that, right? To get a student to commit to like this massive program uh, takes a lot of work. So, the sales process for like this unsupervised training, like you were just talking about that, that student you work with, like, is that simple? Is it simple for them to understand? Is it simple to execute? Uh, very simple. Um, one of the ways that I'll do with, with my players is I'll sell a, uh, a 10 
session package. Okay, that package will then consist of both uh, one on one training and unsupervised training. So uh, session one will be a one on one session with me for one hour. Sessions two and three will be unsupervised training using K player. Session four will then be a one hour session with me. Session five and six will be unsupervised. Session seven will be one hour with me. Sessions eight and nine will be unsupervised. Then session 10 will be a one hour lesson again with me. So now I don't bill 100% of my lesson rate for the unsupervised training sessions. I normally do half of that. So we have four one hour sessions that I'm giving and then, th and then six unsupervised training sessions. So I charge six half hour rates and four one hour rates. So let's just use a very simple number, $100 for my hourly rate and $50 for my half hour rate. So I bill now for seven hours of my time, but I only am spending four hours of my time with that player. So I've billed 700 and only spent four hours. So that lesson rate has now gone from $100 an hour to $175 per hour. So that's how you can earn a better income without spending more time at your facility. Talk to me about, about the student's response to that when you like first present that to them. Like, what do they generally say or like, what do they generally think? <clears throat> um, that's a very good question, Cordy. Uh, the first student I presented that to uh, kind of thought I was nuts. Uh, wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, are they getting what they paid for? Uh, then I put them through about a 35-minute uh, K player training, training session during our first hour that we met together. Um, the student was pouring sweat, tired, and said, look me dead in the eye and goes, you know, I think this is something I can learn to love. So it was kind of funny that he was very skeptical until I really took him through a, a very intense program and said, Mr. Smith, this is the kind of program you're going to be doing on your own. This is the perfect practice that I want you to do. So by the time we get together every fourth lesson, you've made improvements. I don't want to keep going over the same things over and over again with you um, in, our, in our training sessions. I'd rather you have improvement and training on your own in between. Practice, perfect practice, also hitting some golf balls is really going to help you improve more quickly and have a sustaining uh, change in that golf swing. Did it help him improve more quickly? Like what kind of, what is the result difference when you can get someone to buy into this model of practice in between train in, in between teaching um, versus someone that just does like one-on-one -on -one, uh, instruction? You know, one-on-one -on -one instruction, uh, lesson one, you go over some things that you want to improve with the player. Lesson two, you're usually reviewing. Lesson three, you're always going back to things that, you know, they're still not doing correctly. Uh, with K player, the the improvement is dramatic. Um, I have people that come to me now that say, "Hey, can we do some K player training today?" Because they they think it's so important. It's a very valuable valuable tool uh, to an instructor's arsenal. Um, I think that the improvements are are quicker. I think they're longer lasting. I think what we're doing is we're changing motor pattern. Um, you know, it's that whole thing of 10,000 repetitions you need to have to change a motor pattern. You know, I think it's correct. I think it's very, very, very important thing to understand. And the basis of, of, of K player and the beauty of it is there's only three forms of learning. There's seeing, there's hearing, there's feeling. So there's visual, there's auditory and kinesthetic. K player gives you all three of those every single time you, you put it on and every single time you do a repetition. That's correct. Because you get your body into the correct position, you will hear an auditory tone, you will see the avatar turn from red to green, and you will also feel it in your body. And that's, that's kind of the, the way we're able to make instruction better, um, make you more of an expert in your field, and have your players uh, learn more quickly and have really valued improvement in their golf game. So the premise is if you can get students on the K player, K vast and get them training like that. Um, there's a good chance that they're going to get hooked and want to do it more. Absolutely. 
I, I would agree with that 100%. One of my students actually called K player crack for golf. And it was kind of funny. It was kind of funny that he said that, you know, it's almost like a drug to people because when they start to see improvement, um, they get very excited when they when they come in and they start to use use the system. Yeah, for sure. Uh, talk to me about one of these other concepts, the clone yourself kind of idea, um, getting a group together, having a couple of these going and, and kind of overseeing it all. Um, how does that work? Sure. Um, you know, cloning yourself is a, is a great idea. Um, I think I think one of the ways that this works really well is um, if you take a player um, and, you know, let's say, oh, let's say we're working with juniors. You know, junior golfers don't have a lot of time uh, unless it's in the summer to to come to your range. It's either on the weekends or it's, you know, after school. And most of the parents after school want their kids home their homework. So it's got to be a weekend. So you, you, there's a very small small window for you to use with your juniors. So if you have three or four juniors in your facility at one time, you can all work on certain things, whether it be posture or rotation or turn at the top or you know whatever whatever you decide that you want to work on, even fitness stuff, fitness activities. You know you can have these these juniors working together at the same time. The the fun part about bringing three, four, five juniors in at the same time is there's a little bit of a competitive atmosphere out there. So kids love to compete against one another. So if you have K-Vest and you're working on posture, you know, Johnny's going to want to compete with with Tommy to make sure he gets into better posture than, than Tommy. So there's going to be a, a little, a really nice little competition going on with the kids, and you're capable of watching each and every one of them on your own, by yourself, watching three, four, five kids at a time, and making sure they're doing their 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 practice correctly. So instead of having five instructors, you have one. Now I know I teach differently than other instructors, and other instructors teach differently than me. I want certain things to happen. So instead of entrusting my knowledge and what I want to happen with my students to someone else, someone I have to hire, I'd rather basically clone myself and do it do it alone. What are the questions do you hear from other coaches when they're thinking about doing this? Like, what are the common the common questions, the common doubts that people have? Well, I think the I think the the biggest doubt is, you know, how do I make more money if I have to use an using a K player? And then once you get into this stories and and the, the way the models can work and how they can do it on their own, you know, there's no bad idea. You know, if, if, if a client or a teacher has an idea of how he can make more money using K player, you know, that's all well and good. Go for it. Because I think it's something that once your, your student starts to use it and your student starts to see, you know, vast improvement very, very quickly, I really think that, you know, they're going to buy into the concept of that perfect practice. I think that's very important. Um, I had a golf pro send a, a student to me, um, just to do biomechanics on him and use K vest and K player. I never touched this, this young man's golf swing, not one bit. Um, young man had a, a, a swing path that was 20 degrees into out and that's excessive. Um, so, you know, I know right then and there, there's some problem with problem with pelvic movement. So we put him on a, a, a program, um, got him using K player, uh, supervised training. He'd come in, I'd work with him. He'd come in and work on his own, uh, in about, let's call it six or seven weeks, Cordy, this golf professional came into my facility, sat down, watched the kid hit the golf ball. His path was now two degrees into out. And he asked me how I did it. Wow. I never touched his golf swing. Not, not once did we ever talk technique because I am not his swing coach. But what I did coach was the functional movement of his body. So we, we, we trained him to stop sliding and start rotating correctly. And the benefits of K player and K vest um, enhanced and increased his ability to learn more quickly. He did in about six or seven weeks, went from hitting big sling hooks to hitting this little, small, little butter cut that just fell out of the sky to the right. It was just a beautiful, beautiful thing to watch. And the golf pro had no idea, the golf professional had no idea how I did it. So that was a guy that I sat down with and we explained how K vest and K player can, can work. And, you know, now he's an advocate. 
No, that's very cool. Like, you know, when, when I hear this and I hear you talk through this, it, it's very much a thing of like, if you can get results or if you can prove results to a student, which in this case is like, get them a, a, an experience, you know, with with this, uh, with the K player, whatever it is, get them an experience of using it. Um, if, if it gets a result for them, uh, they're going to want, there's a percentage of people who are going to want more, right? It's as simple as that. Like there, it's not a fancy trick or like a fancy program. Um, it's, it's the simple concept. If, if you can get a result, you can get people a taste of that. They're going to want more of it. So I, I think, you know, that's a fundamental core principle that is going to work well for a lot of people, uh, if they want to go down that path for sure. I, I agree. It's a, it's a powerful tool. Um, you know, there's a lot of technologies out there today. Um, let's just talk about the other, you know, 3D companies that can that can measure. You know, there's a lot of companies out there that can measure, and some are quite good. Um, we think we measure as well as anybody out there. But the one thing that that KVest and K Player can provide a student, a teacher, an individual is the ability to do biofeedback training. That's the most powerful thing that I have ever seen in golf. More powerful than launch monitors, more powerful than force plates, more powerful than video. Um, it's biofeedback training. How do you change a motor pattern if you can't have biofeedback training? And that's that's pretty much the basis of how I teach golf. You know, it's let's get let's get the body to work correctly, and the the golf swing will take care of itself. Well, that's just it, right? You mentioned with that player. Um, of you saw the the 20 degrees in to out right um and, and obviously you measured and assessed the problem uh but that wasn't the exciting part for you the you know the exciting part was here seven weeks later this player had uh you know dramatically improved their results uh their consistency and is now able to actually hit a good golf shot and probably has like saved their body some some potential harm as well um absolutely so like, that's the exciting part. The exciting part isn't necessarily the, the measuring and the assessing, you know? Yeah. The, the, the exciting part is, is the change, you know? And as, as a golf professional, that's the exciting part to me is the change is, is the making a player better. Yeah, absolutely. And this is an amazing tool to help students do that uh, long term and, and really have a long term impact on on how they swing the club. All right. And if people want to find out more about the K player, uh, get in touch and see if it's a good fit for their business, where should they where should they head to? They can go to our website, www.k-vest.com. You can request a demo of the system on the on the website. You can also find some information about uh, both KVest and K Player on the website, as well as some learning tools you'll find there um, in the K Campus portion of the website. It's uh, very interactive, and I think that uh, you'll find some information that may be helpful to you. Perfect, Jim. And if people want to uh, send you an email and just ask you about some of your stories and experiences, uh, how can they do that? They can find me at uh, the letter J, last name is Beadle, B E A D L E, at k vest.com. Awesome. And I, I'd recommend that people do that because uh, it's really good to ask people about their experiences. Uh, and obviously, Jim has, has had a lot of great experiences with this and a lot of um, stories to pull on to give some advice. So I'd recommend reaching out to him if you're thinking about pulling the trigger on this kind of model. But Jim, this has been amazing. Uh, great information uh, and lots of good experiences and case studies to pull on here. So I appreciate it. Thank you, Cordy. I appreciate the time. Yes. <laughs>